To set up your daycare reservation types, you'll navigate to the admin section of your app and use the search bar to search for reservation types and services configuration. This page will serve as the foundation of your app, so it will be important to ensure that everything is properly configured on this page. Your app will be delivered to you with an example daycare reservation type, which will include helpful hints for how to set up your daycare. We encourage you to review these helpful hints as well as the settings on the example as these settings are adjusted specifically for daycare functionality. You can also use this example daycare and edit it to become the daycare reservation type that you will use. To edit an existing reservation type, simply click the pencil icon. There are many settings associated with reservation types which allow for customization for your business needs. Many of these settings are optional as a great way to further automate and customize your services. And some settings may only be necessary for certain businesses. In this video, I will only review the settings necessary for this to function as daycare. For information on all additional settings not covered, please refer to our support article. The type will be the name of the reservation type, so we'll name this Daycare Full Day. You can optionally enter a description here about the reservation type. This will show to customers on the customer portal. While any reservation can be used for quick check-in, only one can be the default. This is typically enabled for your most frequently used daycare reservation type. Quick check-in allows you to quickly check in a pet without having a reservation scheduled in advance. Only show on new appointment page should be disabled for daycare. The natural function of daycare is that this pet only stays in your facility for a single day, meaning that they go home at the end of each day. Therefore, we will want this setting enabled. You will need to select a color for this reservation type that will display on the facility calendar. Choose any color by clicking the color box. The charge by setting for a full day of daycare or a half day of daycare should be charge by day. If your facility charges tax on daycare, be sure to enable this setting. Conversion settings including convert to, convert at, and convert after minutes are intended to be utilized to automatically convert hourly daycare to a half day and or half day daycare to a full day, either at a specific time, for example, 12 o'clock noon, or convert after a set amount of time has elapsed since the pet's arrival, for example, five hours. You'll want to use either convert at or convert after minutes, but not both. The interval field determines the interval that drop-off and pick-up times can be selected between your hours of operation. For example, an interval of 15 would mean that times when scheduling a reservation appear in 15-minute intervals, like 7 a.m., 7.15 a.m., 7.30 a.m., and so on, between your hours of operation. If you want customers to be able to schedule daycare from the customer portal, then leave this setting on. If you wish not for customers to schedule daycare from the customer portal, then be sure to disable this setting. Disabling this setting disables the reservation type, so you'll want to leave this setting on if you plan on using this reservation type. We can then save our changes by selecting Update. Once you have completed setting up your reservation type, you will then want to set the rate by selecting the dollar sign, choosing the location, and setting the rate.
If you have additional daycare reservation types, for example, daycare half day or daycare hourly, you can create a new reservation type by scrolling to the top of the page and selecting create a new reservation type. From here, you will adjust the same settings accordingly. For more information on how to create a daycare reservation type, as well as a detailed field guide for what each of the settings on this page means, please refer to our support article. If you have any further questions after reviewing our support article, please contact your onboarding specialist for assistance.